is you probably click this video because you would like to apply in a call center company and you would like to know what are the questions that are being asked in a call center interview so for today's video I'll be giving you the top questions that are being asked in a call center interview and I'll be giving you answers to each question as well so if you're interested just keep on watching Alright, so I'll be giving you top 12 call center job interview questions and answers. Plus, I will also give you tips or reminders when answering those questions. So, let's begin. Question number one is, of course, tell me something about yourself. Now, I have a reminder for you when answering this question. The first reminder will be focus on your educational attainment, hobbies related to the job you're of applying for etc you also have to highlight your job experience especially if that is related to bpo industry and lastly speak with confidence so here's my answer to that question Hi, Ms. May. My name is Naomi C. I am a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at the University of Manila last March 2019. I've been part of the BPO industry before since I became Retail Generalist and Technical Service Associate in an international account. In fact, I received an award as top agent for the month of July as I passed the company's criteria in choosing top agents. During that same year, I passed the career service eligibility both professional and sub-professional level. I also worked as sales engineer in a marketing company just this year. One of my hobbies is to read books written by Bo Sanchez and Nicholas Sparks. I'm also fond of watching English movies. I believe I am a perfect fit for this position considering my experience and my ability to work with teams, my flexibility, and discipline. So that's it. Next question, you are an engineering graduate but you choose to apply in a BPO industry, why? So my reminder or reminders when answering this question would be, this is actually for those who finished a certain degree in college but chose to apply in a BPO industry. This is one of the critical questions being asked so answer this question the best you can. Just be honest but never put yourself down. So here's my answer to that question. One of the reasons why I chose to apply in the BPO industry is because even when I was still in college, I always dreamed of becoming part of it as I love talking to foreign people. That dream became possible because of call center companies. Plus, I'm not just able to talk with them but also help them solve their concerns. As per my degree, I still have plans to pursue it in the future but that at this point in time. So, next. Question number three is, what's your idea of a call center? So, here's my reminders when answering this question. You have to do some research. Make sure you have an idea of what you're applying for. Discuss in detail what you think call center is, its nature, and how it works. So, here's my answer. My idea of a call center is this, an agent who answers phone calls made by clients who are seeking help or assistance in solving their concerns may be with their orders that was lost in transit, devices that's no longer working, hotel bookings that has been cancelled, etc. There is a so-called inbound call when it's the client who are trying to call our companies for assistance and on the other hand, there is also an outbound call wherein it's the agent who does the calling to clients or prospective clients. Additionally, business process outsourcing industry in the Philippines is one of the greatest job provider in the Philippines to thousands of Filipinos. They also play a vital role in the growth of our economy, especially during these times of world crisis due to the coronavirus pandemic. So, that's it. Next question is question number four. What are your weaknesses? So, here are my reminders when answering this question. Be honest with your answer. 
but don't put yourself down all right what you're gonna do is pick one of your biggest weakness and turn them into strengths how explain how you overcame that weakness or how you deal deal with it positively so here's my answer to that question one of my biggest weaknesses since i was little is being too shy to face other people especially professional ones however as time goes by i came to realize that being too shy brought no good to me that's why i started overcoming it by becoming more confident each time i meet new people i can now speak with my head high compared to myself from years ago who wants to hide every person i met so that's it all right so question number five what are your strengths so here are my reminders when answering this question tell them your qualities that makes you qualified for the job do not tell them these statements my family is my strength god is my greatest strength they're not referring to that what they want to hear from you are your qualities that stands out among the rest so here's my answer to that question one of my strengths is being a great team player i earned this with my previous job I've been to different teams during my course of stay in that company. I learned how to cooperate and work well with my team members, team leaders, and supports. Aside from that, I am also mindful of my time by going to work on time. I am also open to learning new things that will help me perform my job better. So that's it. So question number six, can you work under pressure? Now, here are the reminders when answering this question. Don't just say, yes, I can. Prove your point. You have to cite an example based on your personal experience when you successfully dealt with a negative environment and turn it into a positive atmosphere. So here is my answer to that question. I believe that pressure is always present in a working environment. That's why I do my best to cope up with it. When I was an agent back then, I used to talk with a lot of irate callers because of their unresolved issues. What I did was ask an apology for what happened, do the best that I can to solve their concern, and by being polite and respectful despite their attitude towards me. That way i'll end every call with positive aura between the client and me <laughs> all right so next question number seven what do you know about our company so here's my reminders when answering this question do research about the company before going on an interview you also have to highlight their positive impact not the negative ones so here's my answer to that question all right so your company is well known for being the best call center company in the philippines in fact i have seen a lot of posts and comments on different social media platforms how incredible your service is not just to your clients but also to your people above all your highly respected company receive various awards and recognition for its amazing performance so this is it all right so question number eight why do you want to work here so here are my reminders when answering this question they would like to know the reason why of all bpo companies you choose their supply so don't say something like because i hear compensation here is high or because it's just near my house that might be true but that is not how you answer it correctly so here's my answer to that question 
I choose to apply in this highly esteemed company because this is the exact company I am looking for. A company that cares for its employees, not just their clients, and a company that promotes the well-being of each and every employee. I strongly believe that this is where everyone can see greener pasture and better opportunities. So that's it. Next is question number nine. How do you define quality customer service? So here are my reminders when answering this question. This question tests how knowledgeable you are with the job you're trying to enter. Now you have to make sure that you know what to answer by doing research. So here's my answer to that question. Quality customer service, in my own opinion, is you being able to successfully resolve the client's issues. Aside from that, it should be resolved in a short period of time because you know for yourself that their time is precious and that you don't want them to keep on waiting for that long. It is also when the two of you build rapport as the call goes on and that client will be happy or smiling before he or she ends the call. You must satisfy the customer to the point that he or she would like you to be promoted for doing a job well done. Alright, so that's it. Alright, so question number 10. How do you see yourself 5 years from now? So here are my reminders when answering this question. Be realistic and make sure to include the company in your future self. So here's my answer. Five years from now, I can see myself working in the same company I am applying right now, but with a higher position. By that time, I'll be successful with this path I've chosen. So that's it. <laughs> All right, question number 11 is, why should we hire you? Now, here are my reminders when answering this question. Sell yourself. And you also have to highlight your best qualities that will make you qualify for the job. So, here's my answer. If you will give me an opportunity to be part of your wondrous organization, I will perform my the best the duties and responsibilities sorry that will be assigned to me with utmost care i will also utilize the skills i've acquired with my previous job being able to work with teams becoming a disciplined employee by abiding the rules set by your company and of course i will deliver quality customer service to each and every client that i will be dealing with so that's it all right so we are now and with our last question, so how much is your salary expectation? So this is, I think, one of the critical questions ever asked. So reminders in answering this question, if you're a newbie, don't be choosy. Uh, sorry about that. And then if you have experience, then you can ask for a nego negotiable price. <laughs> sorry. Alright, so here's my answer to that question. With my previous job, I am being compensated above or minimum wage. So considering my experience, it would be nice if I will be paid a little bit higher than that. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. <laughs> So that is the end of our video. I hope you learned something from this video. If yes, then please give this video a thumbs up. You may also subscribe to my channel if you would like contents like this in the future. And also, please leave a comment down below. I will definitely appreciate that and reply to each of those. So once again, this is Naomi C. Hoping you and wishing you a happy day today. God bless you. Congratulations in advance. And of course, I'll see you in my next vlog. <laughs> Bye now.